First, the sample is moved into the lysis chamber where the film array physically lyses any cells and viruses through a process called bead beading. Ceramic beads are agitated at high speed to break open cells and viruses and release the nucleic acids. These nucleic acids are then bound by magnetic beads, which are then moved from the lysis chamber to the purification chamber. Here, a wash buffer removes any remaining cellular and viral debris. The film array activates a magnet outside the pouch, which holds the magnetic beads in place while the debris is washed away. Next, an elution buffer releases the purified nucleic acids from the magnetic beads. The magnetic beads are again magnetically secured while the nucleic acids are moved to the first stage PCR chamber. A reverse transcription step is performed to convert any target RNA into DNA. This is followed by a high-order multiplex PCR involving dozens of prime repairs. During this first stage PCR, many reactions simultaneously occur in this single, large-volume reaction. The products from the first stage PCR are then diluted to limit any remaining first stage PCR primers. Next, the diluted first stage PCR products are combined with a fresh master mix and then aliquoted to each well in the array. Each well of this array is pre-spotted with one pair of second stage PCR primers. These second stage PCR primers are designed to amplify sequences contained within the products from the first stage PCR. This eliminates non-specific products associated with traditional multiplex PCR. Because the second stage primers specifically amplify only target DNA. A fluorescent double-stranded DNA binding dye is used to monitor each reaction. The second stage primers in each well are designed to detect one specific target. Organisms are identified based on which wells in the array are positive. The film array performs a melt to confirm the presence or absence of specific temperature signatures of the second stage PCR products.